Hello everyone. We hope that you are doing well. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome to YouTube official verified US immigration updates channel, and welcome back if you are returning. We have got some significant news to discuss that could have far-reaching implications on immigration policies and the border. In this video, we're going to talk about the great news Senate Republicans proposes major immigration reform and anti-shutdown bill. So once again, good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, and welcome again. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, stay tuned until the end of this video. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button, the like this video button. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get new updates instantly and directly to your YouTube. So, without any further delay, now let's get into the video and find out what the latest updates are on U.S. immigration. A group of Senate Republicans are rallying behind Speaker Kevin McCarthy's R. Califf. Demand that any government funding bill include policy changes that Republicans say would secure the border such as language saying that migrants caught crossing the border must wait in Mexico while their asylum claims are processed. Republicans in the Senate say they want to add text to the stopgap funding bill that would stop the Biden administration's policy of letting migrants go after they've been caught crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. However, Democrats are already against this idea. I'd like to get as close as we can to H.R. 2, the Secure the Border Act, said Senator John Cornyn, R. Texas, who met with other Republican senators Thursday morning to talk about adding language about border security to the continuing resolution. The Secure the Border Act, which was passed by the House, would require the Department of Homeland Security to start building the border wall again, hire more Border Patrol officers, and make it harder for people to get asylum. It would require the Department of Homeland Security to hold illegal immigrants or send them back to Mexico or Canada. Speaker Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, told reporters on Thursday that he wants to set up a Remain in Mexico policy and bring back the Title 42 health emergency order from the time of the pandemic that stopped refugees from staying in the U.S. to apply for asylum. Cornyn said, I think it all comes down to stopping catch and release. That happens because there's no good way to keep people in jail while their asylum claims are being looked at. Dick Durbin, D. Ill. Chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee and a major Democrat on immigration reform, said right away that Cornyn's proposed changes to the continuing resolution were unrealistic. I've been in favor of immigration reform for 10 years, ever since we passed it on the Senate floor in 2013. It's not possible to think that we can put it into a bill that will pass in 48 hours, said Durbin. The Senate moved forward with a stopgap funding bill on Thursday but it still has to pass some congressional hurdles. On Saturday, the government will run out of money. That's all we have for you in this bulletin. I hope you found this video useful. We will continue to keep a close eye on the developments us immigration-related updates and will publish new videos when there are more updates. The U.S. Immigration Update channel provides all necessary visa information and procedures for your U.S. immigration journey. It is important to understand the United States immigration processing steps, visa application requirements, processing times, forms, fees, and more. We will continue to provide all information about U.S. visitor visas such as B-1 and B-2, work visas such as L-1A, L-1B, and H-1B, student visas, green cards, immigrant visas, EB-1, EB-2, EB-3, EB-4, and EB-5, and family immigrant visas. Thank you for visiting us today, and we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe channel for more U.S. immigration update videos.